All right, let's talk about defense in general. Just a couple things that I'd like to see. All right, so let's say they're coming down with a puck. We want to, number one, be in good position. So assuming we're in good position, we want to deny time and space. That means to be pressuring them quickly. Don't give them time to get their heads up and look around at what's going on. Uh, that doesn't mean go and take a quick one-time swat at the puck where you'll be in bad position to stay with them. I don't want that. That's a roll of the dice that a lot of times doesn't work. And when it doesn't, you've put yourself in a position where that guy gets around and then they have a two-on-one on our remaining D guy. I don't want that. If you do get find yourself in a two-on-one, uh, I want you as the defender to take away the pass unless the goalie you know you can ask the goalie what he wants but most goalies will say take away the pass and just give give me let me take the shooter let me see the shot let me have the shot because what happens is when there's a a pass and a quick shot that's going to score more often than just the slap shot from somewhere out at the top of the circle because the goalie can see that see where the puck's going and block it but a quick pass and a shot is much more difficult to defend. So, anyways, back to where we were. In the neutral zone, I want the defenders to be about two stick lengths away. As you're coming across the blue line, I want you to be one stick away. Again, forcing the man to the outside. We don't want to let the defender cross into the center. And also, we want to deny the center to this... Their, their other man coming down, their next closest man, because typically what the offending, offending guy wants to do is cut inside, receive a pass, right? We don't want that. So we want one stick length away, denying the pass. Of course, there could be a third guy coming in here, so we want some nice back checking from a forward, ideally. Okay, so... Deny time and space, move the man to the outside, and two stick lengths in the neutral, neutral zone, one stick length once we get in here. And again, no all or nothing attempts to get the puck because that's a roll of the dice and we don't want to give them a free breakaway. Okay, one other note on defense. When we have a situation where a defender has the puck and everyone's breaking out or pushing out or whatnot, and then there becomes pressure, Okay, you want to support, we want to have support from the other defender. He wants to be in a position to receive a pass. Okay, we're not going to make the pass if there's a defender there. Okay, we want to have support from the other defender. Dangerous. He wants to be in a position to receive a pass. Okay, we're not going to make the pass if there's a defender there. And that pass is made. Because that would be, again, dangerous. So what happens if, if there's a clear pass available and that pass is made that's great this defender wants to be able to be in a position then to you know take the puck forward and what does this guy do does he just start up ice nope we want that guy to once he makes the pass come around through the center and then head up ice okay and that's called support this guy is receiving support from his right defender and the right defender then in turn, once he gets the puck, is receiving support from the left defender, okay?